This studio is for us a lifelong experiment with multi-camera technology. With every iteration, the system is slightly improved from its previous version. We're at a point where we can freely create without thinking about operating the technology. Our sessions are flowing and we keep experimenting with various ways of capturing time using 176 cameras. Before diving into the details, let's get some shiny clothes for today's photo shoot. Just that it smells a lot. <laughs> Someone has had it before me. I don't know who, but it was a Christmas party. So 176 cameras on 22 clusters. So a cluster is a straight piece where we attach all of the equipment behind. It's just easy cable and electronic management. So that's two Raspberry Pis. Yep. So eight, four cameras on each. Exactly. One switch to do the network relay and a lot of bricks to power up everything. And on each camera, we have only two cables coming out. So one is USB, that is for the triggering, the camera settings, and the file transfer. Yeah, and the other cable is for the power. Yeah, because no one wants to run on batteries with these things. We never found any volunteer to change the batteries every few hours. When I press the button, all of the cameras are firing at the same time. And then all the files are getting transferred to the main computer. On that computer, we have our software that is going to crunch all of the files. So that is the digital calibration, resizing, MP4 file generation. And this is all automated. We don't have to touch anything. That's what you wanted to say, right? No, that's I stole perfect. Your part. Uh, I stole no, your that's part. Perfect. <laughs> We've been measuring the performance of each process for a while and a big challenge for us is to always improve the timing of each step. We've been able to shave a few seconds recently by improving our network components, but our biggest upgrade this summer is this new Asus ZenBook Pro 16X OLED. It drastically improved our studio work for three main reasons. Did we just go from 40 to 30 seconds in the overall processing time of 176 raw files? That is a massive improvement. The faster the results, and the better we can keep our creative flow from one shot to the other. This computer is powered by a 12th gen Intel Core i9 processor and is able to crunch the raw files and apply digital calibration within just a few seconds. But a fast CPU doesn't do much if it's throttled down due to overheating, which is something we have experienced way too many times over the last years. And that's a major design feature we have in our hands now. We constantly spike at 100% CPU during the calibration process, but the overall temperature is well maintained as the active aerodynamic system Ultra generates optimal airflow for max cooling. When we review the images, we need to make sure that the details are great, that the focus is right and that the colors are accurate. As we have all of that on this computer, we save a bunch of time by doing every step, including the post-production on a single computer. Here's the final result in 4K. I'll make a proper video about post-processing at some point, but there is one other item that really helped me once I started editing files on the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X OLED, and that is the dial on the left side of the trackpad. So overall, this is a significant upgrade for us, as it provides a better general experience. It improves the performance during our sessions for our art and photo shoots with our clients, but also for the editing part, where we are handling terabytes of data. The next step will be to bring this computer in our photogrammetry scanner to see how it can handle everything, from the control of the 200 cameras up to the processing of a 3D model.